Hi everyone and welcome to the Swiftcase Productivity Podcast. My name is Adam Sykes, founder of Swiftcase, the professional productivity platform. And I'm Craig, uh, development manager of Swiftcase, and I work in the Baltic Triangle office yeah. in Liverpool. I also work with Craig in the Baltic office, and my name's Phil, and I'm a developer. So as you can see, we're still in the Hoylake office with the nice bright coloured walls, yeah. um, and we are doing a podcast today about... Uh, I suppose what we really started was the new Samsung S10 is out, isn't it? Yeah. And we've been having a talk about basically iPhone versus <laughs> Samsung and sort of all these sort of concepts. It's usually around. a great divide, isn't it? Yeah, you get divide, really. technology divides, I yeah. suppose. Like yeah. you get Apple versus Microsoft, don't you? Yeah. The big one in the past. And people are very mm. passionate about mm. which one they it's, choose. It's just replaced that, hasn't it? Microsoft, Apple, Microsoft having a comeback. Yeah. But it's not really about them anymore, is it? Obviously, no. um, it's now turned into Android, Apple, isn't it? Yeah. So I think we're we're a bit of a well, a reasonable mix. <coughs> we've all had an iPhone. We've all had. Well, I don't know. Have you had a um, Samsung? Um, no, no. I've only had iPhones since smartphones. Actually. Okay. So by the end of this, though, I can. Imagine. By the end of this, he might have had a Samsung. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I'll just take that one. one. <laughs> Someone, so, someone's just carelessly left it here. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I think. Over the years, I suppose we've all had different phones. Mm-hmm. I mean, my personal, I think I've had every phone. So I think from mm-hmm. when I was at late, late sort of uh, years of being in schools when mm-hmm. text messaging sort of took yeah. off, we had like the... Uh, I'm, I'm a bit older than you, so yeah. we, didn't, we didn't even text. Uh, okay, so I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was in the sixth form, I think, yeah. when I got my first phone and it was like uh, the sort of the Nokia phones were mm-hmm. sort of out, mm-hmm. 3210s, 3310s. Oh, were they? It was like, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. like sort of yeah. snake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether that missed you, passed no, you by. No, was that no, like, it, 13310 is notorious, isn't it? For yeah. being the undestructible. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, I was part of that nightmare generation where phones were creeping into schools. Ah, okay. So, yeah, yeah. you know, you had teachers, I mean, well, you know Bob this yeah, from yeah. anyone, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you had the kids messing about oh, God, under yeah. the desks, texting yeah. the mates and things like that, and you yeah. have the phones going off in the middle of the class. Yeah. And yeah. that wasn't just the kids either, that was the teachers yeah, as yeah. well. Um, That's so funny, yeah. But, yeah, no, I, I had the same. I had a Motorola as well in yeah, the I had 90s. Motorola, yeah. yeah, those With big, the big aerial. Yeah, like, and you could, you could change the, the aerial yeah. Yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. could buy, like, the little ones that, yeah. like, have LED light and, oh, and wow, stuff wow, like that. Oh, wow, I missed out there then. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, you know, Blackberry. Yeah, I had a Blackberry, yeah. That was big, wasn't it, in the yeah. northeast? Blackberry was massive. I mean, I actually, I loved the Blackberry, but then there was that time when they went off mm. for, like, three days. Oh, right. it killed a lot. And, like, I just, like, couldn't go back to them. It, it was amazing like that the though because the, uh, I mean you probably had it more from like a business yeah. perspective whereas kids loved it because of Messenger. Uh, B, was it BBM? Yeah the Blackberry mm, Messenger. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like the WhatsApp of its day. Basically. Yeah it was yeah. Mm. Everyone had it and it was yeah. it was crazy. Is it allowed group chats because I didn't have one was it? Is that what it was? I think, I can't I think so but not that, that many people feature. had them like when I had it a lot of my friends didn't necessarily have a Blackberry mm. so I think they they were still on like the Nokia phone, so it wasn't really that mm. useful. Yeah. But yeah, I think BlackBerry Messenger was a big thing. But the network went down for like three mm. days, and then they gradually just lost market share. Didn't I they? think it was around the time that and the then iPhone, came iPhone out as was well, coming wasn't out, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, so then exactly. yeah, That was the next one. Everyone wanted an iPhone, and that's when mm. you've kind of got this generation now. I, do, I mean, admittedly, I don't think it's really pushed on too much yeah. since then in terms of how the phones have changed, mm. and I think it's kind of like plateauing now where. Mm-hmm. They can't really do much more, but they, I mean, you see the S10, yeah. for example. That it's it's probably going to be the best phone mm-hmm. that's ever been released so mm-hmm. far. But it's not dramatically different. Like it's faster. The camera is amazing. Yeah. Um. You know, you've got the fingerprint scanner and things yeah. like that. But ultimately, it's not that different from the first generations of these phones. Yeah. yeah. Just better. I think that's where a lot where iPhones fallen down is actually. You know, they're expecting you to pay like a thousand pounds or mm. over a thousand pounds for a phone that you're paying out every month, you know, mm-hmm. over two years now. Because it used to be you get a 12 month contract, you can't get a 12 month contract now without paying like up oh, yeah, it's 24 a month at least, isn't it? Yeah. It's 24 yeah. months because that's you've got to pay off this, this phone you, mm-hmm. you're buying. Mm-hmm. But actually, the the iPhone 10 is not that much different to the previous iPhone, exactly. you know, yeah. it's not, yeah. you know, it's, it's been a while since there's been a massive leap in the technology <coughs> that's involved yeah. in the phones, mm. isn't it? Like, you first got sort of like, we got a camera on a phone, and yeah. someone's like, wow, wow it's a camera. Yeah, yeah. Then it kind of like, you got to, oh, it's a better quality camera. Mm. Whereas yeah. now, like, on, on my camera, I can film like ultra HD yeah. video yeah. Exactly. on my phone. Mm. 
You yeah. know, that, that's like insane. Mm. Or like, so why haven't you produced yeah. a cinematic masterpiece yet, though? Well, that, that's happening. Well, because we're doing that. podcasts all the time. You should, <laughs> should be dedicating it. Well, actually, we do, ha- we do do other videos, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we don't just do our, our podcasts. So if you want to watch me on one of my videos, <laughs> yeah. doing one of my guides to yeah. uh, don't forget to how subscribe. to be more, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> it's the same subscription. You get all our podcasts and you get excellent oh, right. videos by both myself in and Ultra Craig HD. as well. Yeah. Yeah. In Ultra HD. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah go for that too but yeah coming back to the phones that that's all that really happened you know mm. a fingerprint scan is great well water, actually, waterproof is i mean what yeah, they've done is they've yeah. taken all the problems with the initial versions haven't they yeah except the battery yeah, yeah, yeah. for the most part um, which is my biggest bugbear with still all phones, actually, struggle yeah. with battery and yeah. i think that's where they need well it's, it's yeah. they're constantly looking at it aren't they yeah but yeah if you think about it people used to um <clears throat> Drop like cups of tea on their phone all the yeah. time and things like down that. Down the toilet, yeah, nine like percent of them down yeah. the toilet. Yeah, top it, pocket lean over. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Or you know, it's smashed on the floor, so they, they yeah. improve the glass that they yeah. use and so on. But nothing's really revolutionised everything. Yeah. the way it did. <clears throat> and stuff you don't notice that you kind of then come to expect, mm. isn't it? So like the screen glass being better. Using the phone is not actually any better. No, exactly, yeah. If you ever drop it, you won't even you go, Well, it's not broken, but you yeah. won't actually realise that all the technology that's probably yeah. gone into that to make it so it hasn't dro- yeah. like smashed yeah. when you first It's hardly gonna it. fly off the shelves. But it's not an, it's not a benefit <laughs> yeah. that you you would sell, is it? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Because mm. exactly. you're not like if I suppose if you were like selling like those tough phones or like mm. I've got like a, one of the Otterbox mm. things on mine and like their whole thing is we're making your phone indestructible. Yeah. Um, but that's not what key like some mm-hmm. key target for Samsung or Apple is. Yeah, it's because people just don't think they're going to drop it. So yeah. the, when people buy, they go, well, I, "I will baby this." And I think. Whereas when I was a teacher, every single kid's phone was smashed. Yeah, like it bar, was bar, one, bar actually. none, <laughs> none. And uh, yet, whenever they got the screen replaced or they got a new phone, they still didn't put a case on it. Yeah, and I was like, and I would say to them, by the end of the term. That's going to be smashed. I'll bet a fiver on it. And they're like, no, sir, no way. And then <laughs> when I saw them actually hiding it from me, because they'd be brazen otherwise, it'd yeah. be because they'd smashed it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, the, the key thing, I think, is um, actually how revolutionary were they when they first came out? Was the iPhone iPhone actually revolutionary? What was it that made it revolutionary? Or was it uh, just incrementally better in every way like they are getting now? No, so, it was a big leap, wasn't it? Because mm-hmm. it was the first time you had the like the full color screens. You had the internet on the phone that wasn't like, was it WAP? No, no. Remember WAP? I had a three G phone at the time. I had a Sony Ericsson K seven seven I, and it had three G internet on it. Yeah, and it had a browser on it. Right, this is the thing. It was browser, and it was on like this, a two forty by three forty screen, that's, and I could actually yeah. go and access it and go on the internet. And um, I had a pretty good camera. I could listen to music. Um, but it had a T9 keyboard. But but by then I was pretty good at it. I was yeah. like, oh yeah, you know when you. If you That's why I didn't opt. For yeah, the full I didn't. Screen straight I didn't away. go for iPhone straight away. I waited and waited. But as we've discussed before, once I was, it was in my hand, and someone sold it to me as an aficionado. Yeah. Or an evangelist, or whatever you want to. Yeah. Then I was like compelled. Yeah. But in terms of just features, at the time it wasn't actually as compelling, especially because it was 2G only as well. So it wasn't 3G. Yeah, see, I didn't go yeah. straight to the iPhone either because yeah. I, I was the same. I, I think had Android the, had 3G first. I actually. had the BlackBerry, mm. but I had the BlackBerry with the full keyboard. Yeah. And like, I was so, like, so nerdy. So I was like used to being able to type <laughs> yeah. on yeah. a full with buttons. And I, I, and I just, the idea of doing it on yeah. a, a phone yeah. screen. Yeah. Everyone thought there was no way that's going to work. No, it was yeah. stupid because it wasn't yeah. like you could like with your thumbs, mm. you were like that, and you could type dead fast, couldn't you? And that this, yeah. this is where. Um, see, I'm not too sure. It's it's difficult to tell, and I admit I'm not like an mm. expert on who did this first, because what you find is Android did an awful lot before Apple did mm. oh, yeah, the yeah, iPhone. Yeah. So, I, in terms of the usability of the keyboard on those full screen phones, yeah, I can't quite remember who did it first, but all I know is it got a lot better. I know the iPhone was the best keyboard, yeah, because they it was just genius. So I seem to remember that that was probably the factor. Because no one had done a full screen phone because actually typing was there was no feedback. Mm. But also, because you can't feel, you don't know if you're pressing the right button. Mm. But they kind of had it and I think the key part is that it didn't type until you took your thumb off. Mm. So and then the actual uh character would appear underneath your thumb. So when you're looking at the screen, yeah. it would pop up. And if you had the wrong one, you just have to move your thumb to the right one. So it was you never actually pressed the button. It only got pressed when you took your thumb off. Mm. And so it was like the way they sort of ingeniously solve that issue, 
I think, is what made it possible. Because there was a huge amount of like, discussion at the time. Oh, no one's going to be able to use it because typing on a screen, no feedback, yeah, look yeah. at Blackberries. Yeah. And I, that's, again, I didn't buy it because I was like, yeah, that, that can't be solved. Mm-hmm. And it was only when I actually used it. I was like, this is actually yeah. genius. It's and, a user experience. Yeah, thing, so, isn't it? but by then, they'd already sold 10 million. Yeah. So I was a skeptic. Yeah. Yeah. I think I didn't get it till like the 4 or 4S. Four right. yeah. I, I waited till 4, uh, yeah, actually. I, I got a 4. Oh no, I got a 5, actually. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was great. It it's blew my mind. But before that, I did have an Android phone. Ah, okay. And for, this kind of goes back to the whole Samsung thing. Um, I think it was a HTC. Oh, yeah, the five. HTC. No, no, five, not no, the third headset. HTC yeah. Sensation. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and, um, I ended up yeah. losing that one, actually. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that... It was it was great. It was the yeah. first like full screen one I had, but um, it, did it have the chin? It didn't feel right. Yeah, did it have like a weird little chin. That like, was one of the first times. Yeah, had. but so yeah, I kind of abandoned that. I thought, oh, Apple have done amazing here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stick with this. Forever. They're a victim of their own success because it's been copied, or effectively, it's been reinvented and optimized. So that there's no competition in those areas anymore. No, it's the like keyboard's a commodity, isn't it? Yeah, How exactly. it's a standard. The iPhone, yeah. all the phones look the same now. Mm-hmm. Don't they? A big screen, touchscreen yeah. keyboard, camera on the back, camera on the front. Well, it's, you know, yeah. they're, they're, don't, all, don't you they're all pretty much interchangeable. They're huge. You know, Another yeah. interesting yeah. dynamic that's kind of changed over the years, though, is the size of phones. That's, yeah. I was just literally going to make the same point because yeah. they used to be tiny. Yeah. And that was well, they, the, if you think the goal was to make them smaller. Yeah, they went from massive, didn't they? Absolutely massive. Yeah. And then they got smaller. Yeah. And then they progressively got bigger again. Yeah. Yeah, that is a brilliant point because I think that shows you how the selective pressure in a um, product starts to kind of take over to the mm-hmm. point where it becomes almost psychotic. Like they were getting psychotically small. Like you would have, I remember the yeah. Panasonic one, or there was like a lipstick bar sized one. And it was like everyone chasing after this kind of. Um, a unicorn like oh my god if we get the smallest one then we'll be the most popular yeah, yeah, yeah. and it happens all the time so the same happens in cameras megapixels oh megapixel wars which you've got 20 megapixels 30 megapixels 45 80 megapixels everyone's that's going to be one that everyone wants and eventually people are like got enough megapixels yeah what i want is low light performance okay yeah. ours goes up to iso six thousand five hundred million right and but in the end you really can't tell the difference. In the yeah. latest iteration, oh yeah, you've doubled the ISO. But actually, when we look at it, if I look with a microscope or zoom into the pixel, yes, I can see a difference. Yeah. But 90% of the photos are going to the internet. Yeah. So mm-hmm. same thing. And I'm seeing that happen now. The cameras, that the, the companies are zeroing in on certain aspects and then chasing that all the way down the rabbit hole. And actually, I think consumers are ready for another thing. Consumers yeah. are desperate for another thing. And there's this... In, they're going after the foldable phone thing. Yeah. But I'm not sure that's going to be I, where it's at. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> I, I read an interesting blog article by you about that say <laughs> certainly look, It certainly looks at, like it'd be interesting, but yeah. I can see it just breaking. Yeah. And yeah. it's, you know, yeah. anything and once that one hinge, breaks, always, yeah. you know, it's, it's always... Well, look at Bendgate with Apple when, when they had the bend. Yeah. Like, when the, like, that was probably quite damaging. Yeah. You know, and... But as long as you but fix it, it's it's anything like that really. It's yeah. always best to wait for the second or third. Yeah, yeah, iteration. yeah. yeah. Early well, it depends on whether you're an early adopter, doesn't it? You mm. want to get that technology. Yeah. I suppose that was a big thing with Apple when they started. Was, was. it was Apple used to be about who's cool. It was. It really yeah, yeah. the features didn't mm. matter, did yeah. it? It was so best it was, implementation. It was yeah. selling the the white headphones. Yeah. Because. Mm. They looked good, and and, oh, yeah. and you could be seen wearing them. They yeah. weren't the best headphones out at the time. Crap. They were, you know, they were <laughs> the really worst. rubbish yeah. headphones. Yeah. But still everyone are. wanted these yeah. white headphones. You can't upsell yeah. any, these, you know. Yeah. And it's it's just it well, was it, that it the market. How many was, clones there yeah. are mm, of yeah. it as well? Yeah. You know, previously they were think different. Mm. Now it's like you know, think oh, exactly yeah. the same as everyone <laughs> yeah. else, isn't yeah. it? You know, you, all the all the hipsters who wanted to be yeah, at the time, the hipsters were the sort of. The Apple yeah. kids. I mean, I remember used to make a joke. We got like a sort of a, a cinema over in Liverpool. It's a bit more independent fact, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And we used to call the cafe the orchard because all it was was just a load of an people apple. on apples. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. writing, writing novels, writing yeah. novels, yeah. Writing novels <laughs> poetry. Their, you know, their, well, I yeah. don't think flat white had them taken off then. I can't oh, remember right, what yeah. the original like sort of, uh, you know, the sort of the, the caramel latte or whatever yeah. was yeah. the thing at the time. But um, you know, it it wasn't about the features. It was about like. The movement of Apple mm. wasn't it? Yeah, you're part of it. Yeah, and I think now yeah. you certainly get it with Samsung. I suppose being in the tech sector, it's different. 
I think everyone in the, you're the anomaly yeah. now. Everyone in the tech cool, sector. Because I think different. Everyone in the tech sector seems to have an Android phone. So yeah. yeah we, so you go we got, against the grain. Yeah, we got we went into the, the phone shop the other day to pick up the, the Samsung and like literally everyone who works in the phone shop was like, Yeah, I've got Samsung. I've got Samsung. Yeah. I've got Samsung. You know, like no no one like you did that four years ago, five years ago. Everyone would have an iPhone. I mean, do you know what? Mm. I, I was mm. gauged by whenever I'm on public transport, yeah. and you hear people talking about their phones, yeah. and they'll say like, "Oh, have you got the new Samsung?" Yeah, mm. never used to hear that years ago. No, never. You don't hear, hear like, Android either. You hear, you hear Samsung. Yeah. You hear the brand, don't you? Yeah. Not so I had the Google ah, Pixel in between. Mm. I actually got I had the Google Pixel, and then I got the S9, mm. and like. No one ever talks about the Google Pixel. It's like Google make Android. Mm. You know. Well, I, I had a I had a Sony yeah. um, Xperia. And I, I was sold on that for two reasons. Um, the first one was the, the twenty megapixel yeah, camera, yeah. but it was awful camera yeah, software. Yeah, yeah. So the pictures it was taking were far worse than yeah. the, the light was wrong or the, it was yeah. too high or whatever. And they were doing this thing as well where you could hook it up to your PlayStation. Um, oh, yeah. And you actually like you got this little thing for your PlayStation controller, and it clipped the phone on, mm. and you could play it wirelessly, mm. similar to like what Nintendo were doing with the Switch. Mm. Um, and the idea is you could stream from your console. Ah, okay. and I thought that was amazing, and it was that an is amazing. It yeah. was an exclusive feature. Yeah, yeah. It works on all Androids now, yeah. and, yeah. Um, iOS as well. But yeah, it was it was an awful phone. <laughs> to be honest, it was just it was really bad. It was just those gimmicks that. Like, yeah, yeah, which has met, probably instigated the camera wars. That's sort of like Sony make a lot of the sensors, probably for Apple. Yeah, and Samsung. I wouldn't be surprised. If Don't LG make make, make a lot of? Oh, stuff. Does, yeah, who knows? We'll uh, put the truth at the bottom. If it's <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, it's it's been going on that long. Mm. The idea that but people wise up because now they don't really actually increase the megapixel count, do they? No. I mean, do you no, even you know? Hear people talking no. about megapixels. It's ISO value. performance now. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's and it's following the same trend that the cameras. So, once they've kind of got to a point where ISO is not really an issue, but it's almost got night vision. Mm. Then they've got nowhere to go, other than the depth effect, which is mimics the aperture on um, actual cameras. Mm. Once that's sorted in software, once the ISO is good enough to shoot in the dark, once the megapixels are well are where they are balanced, mm. good enough, where are they going to go? Exactly. Because it's. That these are the major components, and yeah, yeah. yeah I suppose then it's what is a phone for? Because a phone yeah. was designed. Why is it even called a phone? Yeah, it's not, it, was, it was meant to be for phoning people. Better get but used now, for that. Yeah. Like, but use it to avoid talking to people. The original thing was texting people, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. avoid people. Well, you'll probably phoning. remember when you didn't know who was phoning. Yeah, when you were a kid and you'd have to answer yeah. the phone and like you'd have to yeah. have your official kind of like, like caller ID. It was like a special thing. Yeah, people exactly. Had yeah. And businesses like they paid yeah. extra for a, a thing that came up and told the yeah. phone number. It's now amazing, like it guesses who's calling you and yeah, tells exactly. you it's spam yeah. or something. Yeah. So you don't have to answer without you even having. Not that you answer anyway. <laughs> yeah, I you used to I buy, yeah, I use a great app called True Caller. Yeah, which is fantastic. Is um, it true without the e? No, it's it's spelled in okay. the true way. All oh, right, yeah. okay. um, good marketing, and, and that's fantastic because it comes up with exactly who's calling. Yeah, and you can see who's made. Is that Android complaints. only is it? Probably. Do you know what it might? But, be? It is because it, it comes out the box with some kind of this might does. be spam, doesn't yeah, it? So yeah, yeah, and it tells you it's where it's iPhone does No, iPhone. You don't have to remember the area codes anymore either. <laughs> iPhone's old news, so yeah, it's yeah, yeah, definitely it's, it's all about the Samsung. You have convinced me. I am yeah. going to throw my iPhone into the sun. When yeah. I yeah. yeah, smash it with a hammer and go yeah. buy. <laughs> well, trade trade it in. Trade yeah, it yeah. Get Samsung. I think you might have convinced me actually. I think, but like everyone in my family had iPhone. Yeah, so we all did. I mean, yeah. we, we all, everyone had iPhone, and I, I was the first one. Like, I, I'm like as usual, being in tech, we sort of like change first, yeah. and then like my yeah. wife's just got a Samsung yeah. S10. So the next one will be my father-in-law because he always has to have what we've yeah. got. He always you know, changes. It goes back to that yeah. tribalism, and it always does go yeah. like Because that way. one of the big reasons I used to use iPhone was was it iMessage? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it iMessage. Is that still a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was. That was huge. Because you didn't have to pay for the message, it was data yeah, only. But then like everyone started using WhatsApp. Mm, yeah. And everyone uses like Facebook Messenger now. Oh, God, yeah. I, you know, yeah. or it, Instagram or whatever. There's there's yeah. so many different services that you can use yeah. instead yeah. of the standard SMS. Yeah. Yeah. Um but yeah, I think it's it's interesting that because Blackberry was the same. Mm. You know. Yeah, it's how they hook you into their network, yeah. isn't it? And yeah. iMessage is an interesting one because like my wife literally had to tell her parents that oh I've not got an iPhone anymore you need to get WhatsApp 
So like, whereas we've been using WhatsApp well, loads. Texting still works, though, really. Yeah, but they, I, I, yeah. people have this perception that texting, if you've had phones a while, I don't know whether you have this because you've probably been on these big contracts where texting's basically uh, right. free. Mm. But mm. some, mm. like certainly older people, um, seem to still, still think of yeah. no, but they still seem to think of text messages as, of being like five p or yeah. any or whatever. It's a transaction, isn't it's it? It's a transaction. Yeah. Whereas actually, everyone's probably got like unlimited text, yeah, yeah, yeah. unlimited minutes now. Yeah, yeah. Because what you actually everyone starts paying for data, don't yeah. they? I don't think they yeah. do a contract with like where yeah. you pay for text anymore. Yeah. At least it'd be very difficult to Which get. Which is one. really strange. Well, it's not strange, but it's it's come full circle because when you first got mobile contracts when I was a kid, mm. texting was free because yeah. it, because it literally pig, piggybacks off any mobile. Uh, anything that's going to be sent to the tower, like voice yeah. calls, it costs them nothing. It to did used to be really cheap. I remember yeah. my first phone. I'm sure they were like a penny yeah, yeah. each or yeah. something. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they jumped up when, when they, they got popular. They realised yeah, yeah. I was a part of the generation yeah. where, yeah. Where, yeah. When, when when I was like a little boy and I used to get credit on yeah, my yeah. phone <laughs> and like texts were between five to ten p. Yeah, I think at the time and that that was insane. Yeah. Whereas because, I think yeah. people still think like that, don't yeah. they? Whereas actually, probably yeah, exactly. they're not, and it's the data that's mm. the cost now because people realise most people getting phones and using yeah. it for internet because mm. it's so, not a phone anymore. Like no, it's not a phone. phone. It's just to no, stop being not that. Phone. Isn't it? That's such a but secondary. It is our only. It's a vestigial feature, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it is our only way of talking as well, isn't it? Because oh, yeah. landlines are gone. Mm. Mobile phones. So we're it communicating is, more, but we're talking yeah. less. It's cannibalised yeah. so much stuff, yeah. hasn't it's it? It's a really? camera. It's a browser. Well, it's a wallet now. So, yeah, wallet. yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it yeah. is interesting. And but maybe that's these, something yeah. we'll pick up I mean, in another episode about. Yeah. You know, we maybe some look at paradigm shifts. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, how um, technology changes. So I think we might pick that up next mm. time. Yeah. So. Uh, Hopefully we've convinced everyone to go out and buy a Samsung phone. Take my money. There's no product placement. We haven't been paid <laughs> no. to uh, promote Samsung. We just reuse that and um, we found that to be the best. So yeah. that's our, our, pers our personal impartial. endorsement, imper <laughs> impartial yeah. advice. Yeah. 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 So uh, thanks everyone for listening. I'm Adam Sykes, founder of Swiftcase, uh, the professional productivity platform. And thanks for listening to our podcast. Yeah. And, uh, I'm Craig McCarthy um, if you want to follow us on social media you can find us on Twitter at Swiftcase UK uh, you can find us all on LinkedIn Adam Sykes, Phil Whitby and Craig McCarthy uh, don't forget to head to the website swiftcase.co.uk for more information about some of the things we do Yeah, and uh, leave any comments below uh, especially if you're a fanboy for Android or iPhone because no one's had enough from any of you about your opinions and we need more yeah we, 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 we need to, to know whether we're right yeah. tell, tell us we're right or if we're wrong yeah please and, uh, feel free to call us idiots yeah yeah and um, please subscribe if you want to hear more stuff like this and click the little bell to get notifications when our next podcast is coming out uh, thanks for listening and we'll see you next time yeah, bye for now